Hello YouTube, how's it going? Uh, last sessions we were talking about how to design your UI for uh, creating a login menu. So uh, I want to open up my project in Unity. And in second session, uh, we've been creating, we've been writing a PHP script uh, in order to connect our login menu, our Unity application to um, our web service. So we, we, we just wanted to have a web service. So right now I want to connect my application and uh, I want to let you know how to connect your Unity application to that web web service I mean uh, you can send request in uh, any method you want so uh, you can send request and then get respond back so uh, for starting this I create a folder uh, to organize my workplace and I recommend you all the time to organize your workplace in Unity, create a folder uh, and name it to whatever you want it to have. For example, I want to have scripts and put all of my scripts into it. So I create C -sharp script and name it to login and click enter again to open up Visual Studio. right now here is my login class that extends mono behavior class which is the main class of the unity engine so um, to start this we have to use two new namespaces first one is you uh, unity engine dot networking because we have to because we want to have a network connections so we have to use this name and space and the other name and space is unengine.ui because we have to uh, we want to have connection to UI so as uh, getting uh, data and just and also send data and show data in our UI that we've been created and everything we can do with this about UI so uh, what we want to do is uh, get data from these two inputs username and password and then check this name in our is uh, two fields uh, values into our PHP script and then get respond that uh, they, re they exist in our tables or not so I to start this I write two public input field first one is uh, input field username no, sorry, input username and just duplicate it to input password and then um, we can access to these two input fields. Okay, right now I want to talk about a really useful um, kind of method that is the name is I enumerator so if we want to handle some uh, we, we want to have a method that uh, do something for us and until uh, this done uh, to main object uh, sorry main method that that is when we call this and uh, that's really uh, different with the other methods and I will talk about it 
we first uh, I have to write I numerator and then the name of this so I write IE login and uh, do whatever we want so I want to send request to uh, my API my PHP script so <coughs> I have to make my data and then uh, send it. So for doing this, I, I use www.form, name it to data form, equal to new www form, and then add our data. Data form dot add field, and we've got two arguments. First one is the name of the field. Uh, I'll write it, it to username and then pass data which is input username.txt and duplicate this for password and uh, with password Okay, that's ready to send. Okay, for send this, we have to use a Unity Web Request class and into request. Sorry, Web Request better. Web Request equal to uh, Unity Web Request, and then choose our sorry choose our method we've got all the HTTP methods right here we want to use post method and uh, we've got two arguments first one is URL and the other one is or URI we say the other one is post data which is our data form so I have to write a string URI and um, write my URL. So what what is my URI or URL? We say I have to go to the vamp main root right here. Login tutorial and this is login.php. So I have to run my vamp first of all. So don't forget it. That's really important. Okay, that's completely run it. Okay, that is my root of BAMP. So I write HTTP because we use HTTP method. And then uh, we will call host. Then uh, login tutorial. And then login. Login. So I write the URI right here. This is URI and our data form. So it's completely through. I have to write something else right here. Chang, sorry. Uh, the Chang transfer equal to false. What is Chang transfer? Chang transfer is a method uh, that if we want to send a large amount of data through the server and um, we have to use this chunk transfer and because uh, old servers don't support this option um, I I don't really want to use this and uh, we know we don't need this right here so we just want to send a data we don't use uh, we don't want to transfer a large amount of data. So I write <clears throat> yield return uh, web request dot send web request. Okay, what it means uh, in I numerator we have to use yield return. It means uh, when we call this I numerator, this kind of method, uh, it won't get out of this method 
until this done so and it this uh, stops until it's done and after that the other thing still wins so it pays into the request and then get a responding so I want to see the um, actually respond so I for for first time I just uh, log it so I write uh, debug log and web request dot download handler dot text and it shows us what happened in our web service so that's completely done but we have to start our uh, i number and we have to call it so i write public void um, login to start it and we have to write start routine it means I start this I numerator so write I E login and this is wonderful okay let's get back to our unity and wait till it's compiling okay uh, to organize our workplace we have to create a parent game object and name it to handlers and uh, put that's what I always do and I recommend you to do this to uh, name it to handlers and put all the scripts handlers right here so I want to put my login handler right here and drag and drop it right here and then we have to add my input fields username and password and uh, now we can start it no we have to sign that we have to sign this method to our on click um, call on click uh, event of this button login button so I have to choose my handler login handler right here and then sign it login yeah and we can run our application and uh, for example let's uh, take a look at our let's take a look at our database now we this is our database and we've got three values and uh, for example I write Ali and the password and say login we get number one which means that's that uh, that username exists and our login is successfully done so for checking that I go to C vamp www and our, I want to open up my uh, PHP script okay when this exists go one the other one equal O so I want to make a label right here and show the results so I put it right here and create so sorry put it to be great so I create UI um, we've got text we don't have tape sorry we don't have label in Unity, so we have to use text. We've got text right here, and I want to show the login result right here. Login, let go clear, and then get it. So takes to text login result 
and I have to add this to my oh so I write public text Dragon result and write if cause a writer causes if if web request so before I think that I write string result equal to uh, here and then check this result is one so write that's a string text login result dot text equal sorry equal to you are like uh, right the other thing sign in successfully sign in successfully and else Sorry. Else if result equal to O takes equal to you have to register. And else means uh, we will get this message means connection error so we couldn't have connection really well check your connection that means great okay I have to check it. Wait till it's compiling. It's compiling our script right now, and then place. We. Oh, sorry. We haven't signed <coughs> this text. So I'm sorry. Sign in successfully. So I want to write rank values. You have to register. For example, for example, I disconnect my connection to a server. So I exit and check your connection. That means that works really successfully. Uh, I will upload all this code and project into uh, YouTube so you can get them and enjoy it.